welcome to another Fountain Pen Day review. This review is going to be another Nakaya. Um, this one is a Neo Standard, and the color is Akai Tamanuri. It's the reddish red. I have a uh, desk pen in this color also. I didn't do the unboxing, I've done it before. Uh, you can always go back to uh, view that somewhere else um, in one of the other videos takes a little bit of time, and this one I really wanted to just get to the pen. Uh, this is the uh, <laughs> kimono that it comes in. Sorry for the hesitation. It took me a second. Uh, nice silk lined. All the pens come with those. It's great to protect it. Um, but anyways, uh, this one is going to be a double broad, and it was stubbed by John Mottashaw. And This one also has try and there we go get the uh, focus to stay I want to show this this has the matte gold uh, clip this is the uh, writer edition because it has a clip uh, the, the cigar is the one that doesn't have a clip um, but before I show you everything I'll give you a comparison because uh, when I first got this or when I first was ordering it I'm sorry uh, I was hesitant about what clip I wanted um, the standard gold clip is on the bottom. That's the uh, this is the Hecky Neo Standard with the standard gold clip, and this one in the Ake Terminuri has the uh, again the matte gold clip, and then this is the fumigated clip on the uh, last one on the Kikio blue. I just wanted to make sure I gave everybody a nice shot of that. Okay. Now, this reddish red is beautiful. I mean, the colors really come out. Sorry, I had focus lock on in this. And you can see how the red really starts to break through in this. Especially on the, uh, on the corners and anywhere there's a break in the... Uh, I mean, the finish on this is beautiful. A break in the ear issue. Did I not finish my sentence? I was too busy staring. <laughs> um, that red really comes through. And over time, it will come through even more. Base date blue. My Ahab kicked up on me. And it's still there two days later. But you can see how that red really comes through. I, mean, the, I love the finish on these. I really like this color. I mean, it looks beautiful on the uh, on the uh, desk pen, but for some reason, the neo standard. I don't know. It just really maybe because it's a smaller pen, it shows the details so much better. It's a good shot of that clip. I really like the uh, that matte gold. I was surprised. I mean, it does stand out a little bit more. Uh, on this pen, but I like that personally. Oops, hold on. And then we'll do to take the cap off one, two, three, almost four turns. People like to see that. Uh, inside, you can see, you know, again, these are the uh, how it's all hand done for the threads. Let me get that locked. All hand turned. Really nice. Inside you can see that screw cap if you needed to adjust this cap. But you don't and you shouldn't. But it is there. Really nice. Again, you can see how the, how the red breaks through there and gives it some stunning contrast. Uh, on this one, uh, some of them, some of them, the the threading is colored. Uh, the Kikio is colored. So this one, the black, the the the, the, the uh, Urushi that's left is black and it sticks out, but it doesn't, you know, detract. 
especially here you can see the break in the color beautiful and then of course the nib again this is a, uh, a double broad that's been stubbed by John Modishaw Get some close-ups we'll do some writing samples this one will be a little quicker getting to the writing sample um, because I didn't do the unboxing but I wanted to make sure that I gave everybody a really good shot you know a good view of this nib because even though I have an elastic nib and you can see a video on that also this double broad stub may be my favorite of the bunch the feet is also um, a little different on this one and I think it has to do with the flow properties some people are saying some are newer ones, some are older feeds. Um, and I have posted pictures on Fountain Pen Network and Fountain Pen Geeks, but you can see in the Kikyo Blue that the uh, feed is a little bit different. But the three that I have in um, that have this feed in the blue are all medium soft that are just ground differently. One stock, one's uh, stubbed, and one's done in the elastic. This one being double broad, some have said that these feeds deliver more ink. Either way, it works well. Uh, you'll see this also, the double broad seems to have a little bit of flex. Uh, I did have a double broad in my Hecky Tamanuri before I sent it out to make it into uh, an elastic. And it was definitely stiff, which is fine. Some people want a, a nice stiff nib, um, and, and that's what it was. Sorry, went out of focus. All right, so that's about it with the nib. Um, inside you've got your standard <coughs> converter. Um, this is a platinum converter if it looks familiar to those who have a platinum pen. Uh, it simply slides out. I do like this converter a lot. I'm used to it now. Uh, this seals really nicely inside on that and it seats down in there pretty far. I mean, and it's got a nice positive feel. It's in there. It's not, you know, I mean, you got to pull it out. Uh, it also, if you turn it, if it's facing you, you turn it counterclockwise. Okay, you can unscrew this. I've shown this before. And it does come apart, so you can clean it. Um, it comes right out. This little wash or whatever it, it sits on here. You can see it's got a flat spot. So it slides right down. And I just dropped. this piece and again it just slides over screw it down and the cap goes over and you just screw this right back down and you're right back in business give it a little get it to the end a little snug twist and you're back in business works great no problems no issues whatsoever <clears throat> some people I know have said well they wish that the uh, Nakis had not a converter but you know what it does and and I think the reason that it does is because it works so well so issue free no problems at all and that color is just beautiful feels great focus put it back together beautiful beautiful pen. I'll get you up and close when we do some writing samples in a second. I will give you a comparison, we'll weigh it quickly and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, just to give you uh, some quick comparisons here's a uh, Twisby 580 similar in size. A Montblanc 146 similar in size. Uh, Delta Fusion one of the closest in size. So, just to give you a, a size comparison of it, you know, the, the girth all around is a little bit bigger than all of these, but not much. Uh, and the grip sections on, on all of these are fairly close. So, with that, we will ink this up. I know I've used this ink before, but it's just so appropriate. Um, it's the uh, Noodler's Black Swan in English Roses. It shows so well with this pen.
We're going to fill it quickly, and we're going to get to the writing right off the bat. <clears throat> oh, no, we're not. We're going to weigh it really quick. I'm sorry. Give me one second. I apologize. I know people like to see how it comes in. This, is again, is in grams. Uh, the whole pen. Sorry. 27.5. You know, it is a light pen, but it doesn't feel light. It has a really good feel to it. 8.6 on the cap, and again, this is without ink, about 18.8 um, on cap, because you do not post these pens. But I will do it just this once, just for everyone to see. You can push it down, and it will stay in there, but it's kind of big, and it feels, I think it feels unbalanced with that cap on there. So, I never post it. This pen is made to not be posted and have a great feel to it, and it really does. It's such a nice, warm... Mm. You have to hold one to understand, and anyone who has one will tell you the same thing. Cap off, dipping it down beyond the course like any other pen um, to draw up the ink, and we'll have to dip this down. A little bit further as I've been using this down. Nice fill. Couple of wipes. I always say let's cap the ink because we don't want it everywhere. And this one is simple to wipe off. The Arushi really cleans up nicely. The nib. She's good to go. A little nib prepaid here and there, um, but nothing bad. But again, it does it cleans up really nice. Simple, easy. Okay. Back together. Cap it. Let me toss everything out of the way, and we're going to use uh, Tomo River today because it's my favorite. My favorite paper. Shake, sorry. Bring you down close. And we're going to show you what this beautiful stubbed double broad can do. Focus in. Black focus and you should be good to go. So. So how does the double broad work? Well, it works beautifully. It is smooth. It doesn't have any bite because it's not a uh, cursive Italian italic. It's a um, you know it's just been stubbed. So being a nice wide or broad nib, it's got uh, great smoothness about it. Natural line variation without any pressure. Shading in this ink is great. Um, obviously, you can see very fine strokes this way, thick this way. So, we give you the checkerboard. You can see the comparison right there. This is without, you know, any added pressure. This is just from my the way I write, and and you can see the natural variation in it. How the thin, from thin to thick, and here. Same thing if I give it a little, if I push for a little bit more expression, you can see it comes through. I usually, when I write, I, it's really just the first letter that I look for to give it um, some more expression, if you want to call it that. And it's also laying down more ink because I'm asking it to. And 
there are really hot lights on this, so I would expect it to maybe dry the nib a little bit. Um, and this is no pressure, which you can see. Oops, sorry, I got off camera. You can see some of that difference. If I give it a little pressure, I'm going to make sure I'm on camera. I can get a lot more. The line variation really comes through. Huh. Awesome. Um, one other thing that's great about John's pens, and I usually forget to show this, is you can reverse the nib and you can get a very, very fine line that's also very smooth. You know, not a lot of pens uh, can you flip this nib over and still have it be that smooth. You don't hear anything, of course I'm talking, and it really, it really continues to lay down the ink. Um, I'll show you really quickly, as I'm writing, uh, the Kikio, this is the, um, this is a medium soft stub. So that you can see the, the difference in the line variation. Uh, all right, sorry, Mr. Brown. I will just to, just to show the difference. You can see that this lays down a much thinner line, so it, it's it's definitely different. But it has that flex to it because it's a so, because it's a softer nib, and that's why the medium will look like that. Medium soft stubbed double broad stuff and the difference oh, sorry you can see in these lines here that I don't get the same thinness especially um, like in here and here so the double broad comes out differently. You know, it, it is certainly a difference. There's certainly a difference in feel. The medium, uh, the medium soft that's stubbed has a sharper feel. It's more of a cursive italic, italic feel, even though it's not a cursive italic. It's just a straight medium stubbed. So but again, I really just wanted to show you what a wonderful nib this is. This is great. I mean, if you like a broad stubbed nib. This double broad from John is great. I mean, it's just silky, silky, silky smooth. Nice thin lines and plenty of ink to go. So, at this point, I'm going to say thank you for watching and remind everybody this year again that Fountain Pen Day is November 1st. And I must say, I'm also surprised that this didn't railroad. Being a double broad, this thing really demands ink. Pull it off camera. Sorry. You guys can tune out, or you can see if I can get it to railroad. Yeah, I dragged the feet here and here. I was trying to, I was pushing down so hard. It really doesn't do that. But, uh, but you can see, it feeds really well. And this is under incredibly hot lights. I'm sweating here. I haven't gotten it to railroad. So, John certainly knows, that, knows how to tune these nibs. Okay, long enough, longer than I wanted. But again, thanks everybody for uh, watching. And I hope you have a great day, November. First. Stunning. Thank you again.